Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Uh, let us see the uh, general principles of chemotherapy. What are the important points uh, from the examination point of view? What are the things which the examiner can ask? So first is classification of antimicrobials. Uh, one is uh, cell wall synthesis inhibitors. They are phosphomycin, basitracin, beta-lactam, cyclosirine and vancomycin. You remember that with a code word firmly bind to bacterial cell wall and drugs acting on the cell membrane. They are polypeptide antibiotics, polymyxin, colistin, polyene antibiotics are amphotericin, nistatin and azoles uh, such as fluconazole, itraconazole. Protein synthesis inhibitors, you remember with the code uh, buy at uh, 30 and sell at 50. So the drugs acting at the 30 S ribosomes are aminoglycosides, tetracyclines and uh, those acting at the 50 s ribosomes of the microbes are streptogramins, erythromycin, lincosamides and linezolid. The drugs affecting intermediary metabolism, folate synthesis inhibitors, uh, sulfonamides and dihydrofolate reductase inhibitors are trimethoprim. Drugs affecting nucleic acids, uh, either DNA or RNA. Uh, they are DNA gyrase inhibitors or topoisomerase spore inhibitors, fluoroquinolones. RNA polymerase inhibitors, uh, anti-TB drugs uh, such as uh, rifampin, drugs destroying the DNA, metronidazole and uh, nitrofurantoin, uh, drugs which are analogs of nucleotides or nucleosides which are antiviral, zidovudin, uh, lamubudin, acyclovir, uh, like those drugs. How these antimicrobial resistance can occur, they, that may be an important question. Mechanism of resistance is by three mechanisms, conjugation, which causes uh, multiple drug resistance and transduction and transformation. Uh, the reasons are decreased affinity of the target. Uh, one is alteration of uh, penicillin binding proteins. Uh, penicillins and cephalosporins become resistant to the antimicrob. Enzymes which uh, the bacterium can uh, produce the enzymes which inactivates the drugs. Example aminoglycosides, beta-lactams and chloramphenicol. You can remember with the ABC. An alternative metabolic pathways can occur with uh, sulfonamides. Decreased uh, drug permeability can lead to resistance of aminoglycosides and tetracyclines. And efflux pumps uh, can be generated uh, for the resistance of uh, tetracyclines, erythromycin and fluoroquinolones. The previous steps uh, decreased affinity or enzymes or alternative metabolic pathway or decreased uh, drug permeability occurs as a result of single step mutation. Efflux uh, pumps occur as a result of multiple step mutations. Uh, the next important question is uh, factors affecting choice of an antimicrobial agent. So one is age. Some drugs could not be given for uh, children. For example, chloramphenicol causes uh, gray baby syndrome in neonates. Sulfonamides cause uh, uh, kernicterus or jaundice in the kids. Tetracyclines uh, cause dentition or bone defects in the children below six years. Uh, for pregnancy, very few drugs are preferable, penicillin, cephalosporins and macrolides, others are not uh, safe. You can remember this uh, with a code uh, PCM. Impaired host defenses in case of HIV or transplant uh, patients, bactericidal drugs are preferred. Uh, some drugs uh, are contraindicated in uh, renal dysfunction and they are uh, cephalothin, nitrofurantoin, nalidixic acid, tetracyclines, all the tetracyclines except uh, doxycycline. Some drugs are uh, uh, contraindicated in hepatic dysfunction. They are erythromycin estolate, tetracyclines and pyrazinamide. And uh, some are related to the genetic factors uh, such as uh, the quinolones uh, cannot be given uh, for G6PD deficiency patients which causes hemolysis. Dapsone or sulfonamides could not be given for glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. And the next question is a super infection. It is nothing but appearance of a new infection uh, such as pseudomembranous colitis due to antimicrobial therapy with uh, tetracyclines, chloramphenicol, clindamycin, ampicillin or aminoglycosides. And it is usually treated with clindamycin and uh, metronidazole. And the other things which are uh, the student has to remember is a CDK, concentration dependent kinetics. Two drugs you just remember, aminoglycosides and chloroquinolones. And time dependent uh, killing is uh, possible with uh, beta lactams. Post antibiotic uh, effect is uh, observed with aminoglycosides, tetracyclines, chloramphenicol, and chloroquinolones. 
sets a very short nutshell information of uh, the important points which a student has to remember for, from the examination point of view i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel for further updates thank you a separate video is available for a brief in, uh, brief uh, diagrammatic representations of these general principles which kindly you go through thank you